The sound of opening doors filled the school, defeating Austin Erie across the snowbanks and the ice to melt. Instantly, the students were no longer trapped. Parents rushed into the school. Lucy and Antonio sat up. They both looked dazed. Are you okay? Sam asked. Oof, Antonio groaned. I feel like I just rode the tilt a whirl nine times in a row. I think I'm okay, Lucy said. We did it, didn't we? Sam grinned. We did. Just then, Miss Drinker marched over. Sam doubt. You three, she barked. What are you doing out here? And Sam, are you wearing your ice skates in school? Um, well, Sam stumbled. I have hockey practice today. I think you got plenty of practice already, buddy, Antonio joked. Mr. Nekobi walked out into the hallway. Miss Dranka, he said, interrupting her. Were any other students missing from the gym today? Miss Dranka thought for a moment. Well, no. Then I think our hall monitors did a wonderful job. Mr. Nakobi said, staring her towards the gym. Sam untied his skates and slipped back into his sneakers. Then Sam, Lucy, and Antonio headed towards the exit. Students and parents hurried past them, but the three best friends took their time. They were tired and did not want to do any more racing around. They spotted their parents outside, but before they could walk over, Lucy stopped. Guys, she said, there's something I have to tell you. When I was inside that tornado, I felt something. I felt awesome eerie. Antonio nodded. I felt it too. He's even more dangerous and powerful than we ever thought. Lucy's words made Sam skin crawl. It took a moment before he could speak to Dane. We must stop him, Sam finally said. We thought Austin Erie had one goal, solo students to stay alive. But now we know that was only part of his plan. His real goal is to come back to life. Lucy nodded, and who knows how many other ways he might be able to do that. This freeze plan was probably just one of many. I bet Austin's old science book holds more clues. Antonio added. Sam shoved his hands into his pocket. The air was chilly, and his clothes were still damp. Well, he said, it sounds like we've got a lot of studying to do to protect the students of Erie Elementary.